hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing our weekly check-in and we're going to be checking in from friday the 15th to through friday i mean through friday the 15th through thursday the 21st okay so let's get started so like i mentioned we ha i had vacation on the 14 15 and 16 so i got back on the 16 so we'll start so that still counts as vacation money and that was a 196 that i already recorded here okay but then we'll we'll continue with sunday sunday the 17th so i did buy breakfast for um the family and that was about 33 dollars. and i bought some barbacoa at bertas so that was good. So that was it for Sunday. On Monday, the 18th, I did go to Chili's with one of my coworkers, and that was about $17, okay? That's tip included. After that, I did go to the nail place and got my nails done, and I got a pedicure as well, and that was $119 with tip included. And this is a new nail place that I'm trying. And so far, I liked it. So that was good. After that, I did go to the store and bought some household items at HEB. And that was about $10. Okay. I also bought some food or groceries. Um minor things because that was only $13 okay so that was it for Monday on Tuesday the 19th I did buy some um, Mexican tacos for lunch and that was $16 we went um, myself and a co-worker so that was good and then, and then I actually got uh, groceries for the week and that was $97 okay so I did include a little bit more fruits and vegetables this time trying to eat healthy okay that was on 19. I also got my card tags that day and that was um, $83 okay so that was a car tax for my truck. Okay, so that was it. On the 20th, I did get a quote uh, to actually fix the house AC. Um, so I got one quote and it was like a thousand or four hundred and I don't know how much, right? But my house is fairly new. It was just built five years ago. So um, I did call around for more quotes and I got another quote that they told me that they need to probably like cleaning to the coils. So that was about 200 to $300. But they, when they actually arrived and checked the AC, um, the coils were very clean actually, even after five years of living in my house. So, um, but they did check the unit and it was missing Freon or yeah, I think it's called Freon. Um, it was low on that. So they actually filled it up and that was actually $447, guys, okay? So the reason is uh, my son, my youngest son, was had already been complaining about the AC not being very uh, strong. And then since my other son moved in also, um, he said that the house was really hot on their area. My area is really cold because it gets up right next to the AC, you know, in the master bedroom. But theirs needed help, and I guess... Um, um, we need to get the AC repair. So that was $447, which was good. I think uh, right now I asked if that was better and it is so, but it was very expensive. And that actually came out of my, I didn't spend my vacation envelope only because I didn't spend all my money I had for vacation. So I was able to transition some of it to the AC repairs. And then I moved some, some, some additional money into my um, emergency fund. So hopefully I'll be able to, um, actually get that emergency one faster right that thousand dollars um but i today is actually the 23rd so i need to go to the dentist because my teeth are hurting really bad and that's usually very expensive so i don't know i'm gonna have to use the emergency fund again um, but i'll keep you posted and then 
that was it for the 20th on the 21st um one of my cousins said call me up to go to lunch and i did um it was her birthday a couple of months ago and we hadn't seen each other so i did pay for her uh, lunch and that was 26 dollars for chick-fil-a okay so that was all my transactions for the week so overall it was a good week um uh, i think i did have some leftover or rollover money only because uh, of the vacation and I dip into my vacation instead of my actual spending. So let me take you over to my uh, worksheet so we can see and check in. Okay guys, so this is my variable expense worksheet. So uh, we're checking, we were checking in from 9.15 to 9.21. So we had $340. As you guys know, if you saw my previous video, I did uh, remove $6 from my miscellaneous just to pay my savings challenges. So that gave us a total of $334 for the week, okay? So for lunch, I did overspend. I spent $59, oops. I spent $59 for um, lunch. For dining out, I only spent $33, so that's a big difference, guys. So what happened is that, of course, I was out of town. And then the other thing is that my son is trying to eat very healthy, and I'm trying to also eat healthier. So it's less eating out when we try to, try to do that. I think this week has been um, a lot different. My son has been just eating grilled chicken and rice, so everything is homemade. Um, but you'll see that my groceries have gone up. So it, it, it actually plays off almost about the same. So groceries is $110 for this week. Um, and household items is 10. And that's all I spend. Nothing for gas, nothing for spending, and nothing for miscellaneous. So this week I only spent $212 from my variable expenses um, or my wallet. But like I said, I did use some of the money also for my vacation because I was out on a uh, work trip. Okay. So in total, I had $122 to roll over. So that is awesome, guys. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye.